Hey, this is Steve. I'm just, uh, you know, most of my teaching is centered on my guitar ladder system, which involves learning how to resolve chords because the payoff is huge. Your musicianship can take a quantum leap. By, uh, by learning chord cycles, uh, you get a lot of benefit out of that. And it really opens up your ear and helps you consciously and subconsciously understand the art and science of music. However, I've had a lot some requests lately from people to cover some basic stuff like pentatonic form. So I'm going to do a little bit on pentatonics today. And um, I don't have an assistant, so excuse if camera angles and things aren't perfect. But let's talk about some ways to practice the pentatonics. We'll start with this form here, which we all know. And the idea is to place the accent. Because when you place the accent, you give your technique a reference point, technically speaking, so you're able to develop strong technique and kind of burn this into your, into your, into your you know, neural pathways or brain or however you want to call it, okay? You can also pick one note and then pull off. Like I really believe you should practice both ways because you, you don't want it to be like your right hand stronger than your left hand. You want to develop both so you have the ability, you know, play legato playing or non-legato playing. Okay. But anyway, on this we're talking about developing picking technique and getting to know the pentatonic scale. So I call this form one. So the idea is bam. I'm going to nod my head with the accent goes. And uh, you want to play this stuff slow and clean. The next pentatonic form below this one. And by the way, the pentatonic form is just five notes out of like the relative minor scale. Like in the key of C, if you're playing in the key of C, um, you know, the, uh, the three relative minor scales are both off of six degrees. So C is A. So off A, if I just play the same notes, A to A. That's called an A natural minor. If I sharp the seven, that's called a harmonic minor, which I love. If you sharp the six and seven, B F, there we go, melodic minor, okay? But these five notes are just five notes of the A natural minor or five notes of the C major, depending on how you want to look at it, okay? It's like Joe Pass said, it's not the idea that's important, it's the defi or not the definition that's, that's important, it's the idea. Okay? Had that backwards, didn't I? <laughs> so anyway, this form. Then you can come up with the other form. Here I'm on this on the ninth fret, four two, four two, four two, four one, minor third stretch, minor third here, four one, and then four two. Okay. A good way to practice that is start with this one. And kind of melt, kind of melt those different pentatonics together, okay? So you have this one. Okay? Again the accent. And you come up. Then here I'm on the seventh fret, coming down this form. Now there I just went from the pentatonic form to a major seven arpeggio. I'll be talking about that more in the future videos of, of changing the color of your lead, you know, in the middle of an idea. So you, it's almost like painting, okay, with colors of music, like diminished, augmented, pentatonic, harmonic minor, you know, whatever it might be, okay, chromatic. So you have that. Then the next one. Here I'm hitting one note and pulling off because I like the sound of it. it. Sounds cool. But you want to practice it both ways. Then 
also pick that, okay? Just strip picking it. Here's the accent. Bam. 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 Now I'm really overdoing that accent, okay? Because that's how you develop technique. Eventually, the accent will not be so crazy like that. It will subdue. It will be a little more subdued. But it will still create the effect of your brain is learning how to play these series of notes and understanding the, the, the technique behind it and under a reference point, technically speaking, for your picking. It's like programming your own head, man. Okay. Then this, this form here. I've heard certain musicians, I won't make any names, do this. So I'm just using this form here. And it's nice to add some passing tones. Great way to work pentatonics is to go start a pentatonic form down here and then travel on the bass notes moving up to another pentatonic form. I'm in this form. Okay, what I'm trying to show is go from this form, this form here. Go from here. Now I'm in this form. So you practice going from form to form using the bass notes as a transition, also using the treble notes as a transition, okay? And you'll get some interesting ideas. But anyway, um, and then the picking exercise. Simple is really good, you know? Just the repetition is a big part. Guitar is the easiest instrument in the world to mess around on because it's so fun, right? But one of the hardest instruments to really create a focus. My focus has been compositions, and I'm really into altered tunings on acoustic guitar. I'm really into acoustic guitar, but I love electric as well. I love, I play kind of my own brand of flamenco. I don't claim to be a flamenco guitar player, but I've been very influenced by that. And I kind of have, I kind of use some of the stylistic uh, implications and heart, stylistic articulations and harmonic implications. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but the idea here. And then come up the next pentatonic form. Then come down the next pentatonic form. Then come down, go up the next form. I know this is probably old hat, so a, lot, a lot of players out there, that's okay. This is probably geared more towards intermediate level players. But who knows, maybe some other people will get a couple ideas off this, right? So the idea is, is developing technique, think simple patterns like... Patterns like that, and then come down to the next pentatonic form below form one, which would be this one. Okay, and then and that one note was an accidental. I realize that because I'm thinking about going in here.
It's really hard for me to stick to one thing, but um, the idea behind this is just to give maybe some intermediate level players uh, or, you know, kind of beginning to intermediate or somewhere in there, a couple of ideas how to practice pentatonic. So the idea is you practice form one and then come down the treble note to the next form, okay, to the next form. There's this one down here. Sometimes I use two four. You can always add accidental notes, which are kind of the notes in between, like here I'm going as opposed to just the basic pentatonic. Get a little sequence going. But the idea is just a way to practice placing accents. See how I'm doing that? Sometimes hit one note, pull off a second. And then pick both. Now, I'm way overdoing my picking right now to set the example of the accents, but eventually you'll, you'll pick a little bit lighter in the accents, which again will just become a reference point um, for how to play that, like technically speaking. And eventually you burn this stuff into your head where it's boom, it's like taking a picture, it just happens. So we had this form. I may not be tuned to concert pitch, so let me let me give you an A here. Okay. Let me give you an E. It may not be concert pitch, I realize that. Anyway, so this form, so we have this. We do three at a time. Uh, then here, okay. this form. So you go from one form. I'll be talking about in the next video about how to go, you know, change colors. So maybe you start pentatonic and maybe you throw in a diminished or whatever it might be. Okay, but anyway, just as a quick review, I don't want, don't want to take too long to download. We have form one. Okay. Form two. And again, a good way to practice, go from form one down to this one. You know what, it doesn't matter if I call it form two or form three, it's been so long to be honest with you since I've broken these things down and called them this or called them that. You know, I'm not exactly sure what the hell I want to call them right now. They're just different forms of the same scale, okay? No big deal. This form, four two, four two, four one. Okay. For some reason, I always want to go that A major 7 arpeggio. Then this last form. And then the form above this is this form here. Okay, so. You just want to practice slow, okay? Accent, bam, bam, bam. And 
and uh, just do them real slow and clean, like this. And And this is just one small component of doing these scales. I'm going to be covering lots of other things uh, in terms of getting, you know, interesting colors. How to add different uh, ideas in, in between these things. How to add, you know, uh, diminished color in there and harmonic minor. All kinds of things. But for now, on this tape, just Get to know these five forms. One below. One below that. Then the last one. Hard for me not to add these accidental notes that they just kind of drop in there so nice. So just practice slow and clean. Accent bam. And those accents will eventually really give you some interesting stuff. One of these days when I'm uh, a little warmed up, I'll, I'll come back and, and do these a uh, little high speed and show you what they can do. It's real fun. But like I said, the, the, the main component of my teaching is learning about chords. Because by working chord cycles, you learn so much about... You learn so much about tension and resolution, smooth voice leading, and it really develops your uh, ear training and your musicianship to get your uh, you know musical tool chest together okay? anyway have fun with these pra practice these five forms and when you do one form then go down to the next form and then come up like go down and then do transition with the bass like here now I'm about this form so not in this form. Now I come down with the bass, well here on the G string, to the next form. Right? It's hard for me not to kind of jump off into something else because that's just what I do. But anyway, work on work on these forms. Okay? Then work on coming down one form and then coming up the bass on the other form up here. And this guitar is for sale, $3.99, has a hard case, beautiful instrument. These, these made in Korea ones are really, really nice. They're a little heavier, they have a mahogany center block, which is why they have so much tone. Even unplugged, you can just hear the ring, it's really, this one's cosmetically extremely nice. Give it a near mint, and uh, these, are, these are some of the best sounding ones around. To me, they sound a lot better than even like an older Korean Sheraton. Uh, some of the older Korean Sheratons are pretty good guitars as well, but these are really nice. If you're interested, you can give me a call. 714-548-0385. That's Steve. And there's a lot of other information on my YouTube channel. I am available for private instruction. 50 bucks a lesson. You only need to take from me a couple months. I really don't like people hanging around all the time anyway. And you don't want to be around forever either. So you can take a couple months from me. We'll get a heck of a lot done. If you bring a cassette recorder, record the lesson, you'll take a quantum leap. You take it for a couple months and then you know go work on your own for a couple months you'll, you'll really take a huge leap so 714-548-0385 again that's 714-548-0385 and this beautiful uh, epiphone 335 made in korea one of the older ones with the mahogany center block is available thank you take care